Talking to your crush is a wonderful thing, but it can also be painfully awkward. And while the best advice is talk about anything under the sun with exuberant confidence, there are a bunch of things you can say that can blow your chances. So here are 9 things you shouldn't say to your crush. 1. Telling your crush you're updated of what they upload. Back in the day, you need to be outright creepy to be a stalker, but today we all seem to be guilty of stalking, at least on the internet. Just because it's easy to be updated of what your crush is up to, it doesn't mean you need to tell them. If your crush tells you he or she has a new hobby, and you're aware because you were just browsing her Instagram page, do yourself a favor by playing it cool and at least pretending you don't know. Two. Asking your crush if he or she is ready to mingle. Don't ask this ever. This question is much worse than the opening pickup line, do you come here often? Especially when you're just texting. It should be pretty obvious if your crush is single or not, and you don't want to come off as too forthcoming. You might want to beat around the bush instead, even dropping a corny pickup line. If she changes the subject, she's not interested. If she plays along, that's your answer. Three. Asking if your crush has gotten over an ex. This might sound like a good filler when you have absolutely nothing to talk about, but this time it's better if you open up about your favorite conspiracy theory. This is a major no-no, even though your crush is still into an ex. This is not in any way a conversation starter. It's too personal and could make your crush feel totally uncomfortable. But if your crush decides to tell you about their ex, this is a good sign because he or she is starting to trust you. 4. Bad mouthing your ex and your crush's ex. Still on the topic of exes, you should never bring up exes, especially if it's an insult, as this can spell disaster. Think about it. Listening to someone blabbering about how worse their ex is makes you think maybe he or she is the terrible person, and insulting your crush's ex is just as worse. Just because she's insulting her ex doesn't mean you have to fan the flame. You don't know the ex like your crush does, and what if they ended on good terms? It makes you look insecure. 5. Complimenting your crush too much You might have heard the old advice, don't put someone on the pedestal. This is mostly applicable to your crush. Although compliments are flattering and can brighten up someone's day, if it's said too much, you'd make the person uncomfortable. If you two are comfortable in being sarcastic with each other, praising someone too much can backfire big time. But if that someone is also a cult leader, do it with reckless abandon. 6. Getting your parents in the conversation Unless your parents know someone who'd get your crush in an internship, never bring up how you'd like your crush to meet them. Saying something like this can very well be the last nail in the coffin of your potential love story. Your goal here is to spend as much time with your crush and see how things could go. 7. Being needy on text Nobody wants to be controlled, especially if you're just trying to get to know each other. Your crush might be busy having their own life, so you don't want to come off as needy and annoying, not when you're trying to build a connection. 8. Complimenting what your crush was wearing a week ago Just know, you might as well say, I know what you did last summer. It's pretty natural to know what your crush wore last Monday because you pay attention to every detail about them. And even though your crush might like you back, she'd be creeped out by something you noticed a week ago. Remember, the best compliments are given on the spot. 9. Confessing what you feel Unless you and your crush happens to be best friends and have known each other for ages, this is a major turnoff. If you do things correctly, you won't even have to say this. Try to build up the tension for weeks until you confess, but never when you're still getting to know each other. 10. Self-pity Self-loathing 101 Exactly this statement. A number one statement on being too full of yourself, the exact opposite of this statement. But your crush would rather go for someone who has self-belief than someone who feels sorry for himself. So, what do you think of her list? Have you ever thought about or said anything like this to your crush? Or has anyone said this to you? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.